Hallelujah. So he said the glory cannot be, then what we are having, what is awaiting us, has no comparison with what we are going through today. Have you ever been in shame? Have you been disgraced? The blessing, the decoration that is coming is bigger than the shame you have ever gone through. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Have you ever been fought? Have you been given a name? There's a name that they are calling you. There's another name. The Bible said, and God gave Jesus a name that is above every it's other God. name. There's a way God elevates his children that when he's done elevating you, you know. Even when somebody looks at you, the person knows that you're elevated by God. Amen. Mm. When somebody looks at you, he knows that what you have, you cannot have it yes. by yourself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, our present suffering. Yes, God knows. It is true that we are actually suffering. Pastor, see there's somebody that is writing me. I don't know. Maybe he has an emergency check. Kadabashandala. You cannot compare the pain. God has already gone ahead, prepared a glory for you. Listen to me. He said you will prepare a temple for you in the presence of your enemy. It's very important. It's very, very important because your enemies are the ones that insulted you. God said, I will drag them to the table. Amen. Do you think that your God is stupid, is foolish? All those who mocked at you, laughed at you, said all manner of things, and said, I will drag them to the table. Say, I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy. They will be there. If they are not there, listen to me. There are some celebrations that you are supposed to have that have not come because those your enemies, they are not yet in the ranking that will be there. So God said, come on, don't worry, come on, come on, come on. Because you must sit here, you must see it. You who fought this blessing. You did everything to stop it. He said, but guess what? The blessing is here and you will sit down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord just opened my eye and I saw something. I saw a temple prepared Amen. with food on it. Amen. And I saw faces of people here Amen. sitting at the place <laughs> where you are Of the sons of God. We are waiting. Amen. You will 
manifest. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pro free. For creation was condemned to lose its purpose. Not of its own will, but because God willed. It Not be because so. he, he said something. Pro read again. For creation was condemned to lose its purpose. Creation was condemned to lose its purpose. You didn't lose your purpose by yourself. It, it was the circumstances around your life, mm -hmm. around the glory that surrounds you, around the blessings of God. God allowed you to lose it. Read it for me. Uh, for creation was condemned to lose its purpose. It was condemned to lose. Not of its own will. Not its own your will. Yeah. Stop blaming yourself. But because God willed it to be so. But because God has willed it like this. Yet, there was the hope ah. that creation was itself, creation itself would one day be set free from its There slavery. is a hope that I, that you, will be set free Amen. out of that bondage. Amen. They said day that is coming, and that day is today, Amen. where you will break free, Amen. where you will come out of that bondage, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And will share the glorious freedom of the children. Well, of God. is it not about the celebration that we are talking about? Yes. And we share the glorious freedom. For we know that up to the present time, ah. all of creation groans. Ah, they are now when God is still repeating. He said they wait. They are waiting for your manifestation. Mm. They are not just waiting. They are groaning. Do you know how they groan? When you pray and reach yes. a place where you can't pray, Ragaba Shakata. No, you the. <coughs> <coughs> you are pushing, 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 pushing. When a woman that is in labor, that is giving birth, she's not shouting, ah, because she's wasting her energy. She's pushing. <coughs> that is the place where you are. When you see a woman that has gotten to that stage, she's not talking anymore. She's facing her blessing. Somebody say, face your front. Face your front. <laughs> There's a blessing that we are growing, that we are about to bet. And you, you are telling me to be distracted by what is happening at the side. You're telling me to be worried about what is happening. No, I am facing my front. There is a blessing that is inside of me. That the creation, they are waiting. The world is waiting for my manifestation. I must bet it. I must bet it. I must bet it. They must witness it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Prof. Reed. Um, okay. For we know that up to the present time, all of creation groans with pain. Up like to present time. Like creation is groaning, yes? Like the pain of childbirth. Like the pain of childbirth. Mm. But it is not just creation alone which groans. Mm. We who have the spirit as the first of God's mm -hmm. also grown within ourselves. Well, that is why we are together. That is why we are together. Because it is not only you that is groaning in that your condition alone. That is why we are together. And that's why we will join hand today. And we will pray for each other. You will, I will help you. You will help me. We will push that blessing until it is better. Praise the Lord. Read for me. As we wait for God to make us his children mm -hmm. and set our whole being free. Uh -huh. For it was by hope that we were saved. Mm. But if we see what we hope for, then it is not really hope. Yeah, that it explains everything. Mm. It explains everything. It said, so you are groaning. The funny thing is that you are groaning. And the earth is waiting for your manifestation, but you don't know what you carry. You, you, you don't know. The funniest thing is that you don't know the worth of what you carry. Last Sunday when we went back home, men of God were calling on, congratulations. Congratulations. Araba da da da. On the phone like babies. Oh God. Oh God. The mama of God is too strong. I was just laughing. Oh God. The glory is too much. Oh God. They were crying. You don't know what it means to wait on God for 15 years. You don't know. The glory. When they call like that, they knew they hear my voice. Jesus. The glory is too much.
they start prophesying. Amen. I learn. Say, Jesus, how do you carry this thing for 15 years? How do you carry it? Say, God grace me. God grace me. On that Saturday before I came here, oh, Pastor Seve was saying something to me in the hotel where we were. He was talking to me. I said, what? What did you say? What are you saying to me? Have I not told you not to talk to me? He said, which time? He said, don't talk to me. It was as if I was in level. I was feeling pain. I was feeling pain. I said, why are you talking to me? He asked me, ah, ah. I said, why are you talking to me? Are you okay? That was the question I was asking. I said, why are you talking to me? I said, why are you talking to me? Don't talk to me. He just looked at me like that. He knew that that was not me. He just shifts. He just, he just went away like, okay, 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 what should I do? Don't do anything, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Ah, thank God, that hotel, we had two beds like that. Everybody just keep inside, everybody just keep inside. In the morning, I asked, how are you? In the morning, I was asking, how are you? How did you sleep? Good morning. How are you? And he looked at me. He asked me, what happened in the night? I said, I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. I was eating my teeth. He was asking, why are you acting, you're acting funny? I was grinding to give birth. What you are giving birth to, you don't know. It's when people started calling to talk about revelation and vision. Started calling that to pray. And then they, they fell under the anointing. And then I began to let the Holy Spirit ask me, do you understand what is happening? Do you understand? The reason why you talk to yourself, you're very harsh on you. is because you don't know what you carry. Sometimes you behave upward because you don't know what you carry. When Jesus was on the cross of Calvary, giving birth to us, his blood was spilling. He was going through a pain. He bled on his head. He bled on his feet. He bled on his back. He bled all over because he was giving birth to something that was powerful. Do you now think that you will groan and give birth to something that is common? It's a trick of the enemy. It's a lie of the enemy. Do you now think that you will groan and come out empty-handed with nothing? It's impossible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it, is it, and if what we hope for, if what you hope for, if you, if you know what you hope for, if you can see what you hope for, is it hope? Yeah. Can somebody read that part for me? Verse 24. Yes. Read it. Jesus name. Amen. For it was by hope that we were saved. Mm -hmm. But if we see what we hope for... It is by hope that we are saved. So you are going through your wilderness. You are hoping. But if we see, but if we see what we hope for, then it is not really hope. If you can see what you are hoping for, if you can see what you are hoping for, if you can see the blessing, if you can see the glory, then what you are hoping for is not powerful. Because that one is not hope anymore. Will it be hope? No. If you know what you are hoping for, is it hope? No. Is it, is it not? Is it what? what is it? God hides it so that when it comes to you, it's a surprise. No. So that you don't take it as something that you are familiar with, that you know about. Do you understand? Sometimes you ask yourself, but how is it possible? But how will it be possible? But Lord, what are you talking about? But I don't see any signs of you walking around me. Because you're hoping. It is called hope. You don't see what you're hoping for, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Do we, are we understanding? Are you, do you, do you, get, do you really get it? Because once you, you, a wilderness is a place that it is too difficult for you to see. The workings of God around you is too difficult. It takes the, the grace of God. Sometimes in the wilderness, you don't dream nice things. You don't even see anything good. Oh. Ayah. You will, that's when you will see how uh, they will be chasing you. Oh, they will, they, they, they have caught you in a cage. They are now, they want to bury you. They have tied you. Those are wilderness experiences. And then you keep hoping. 
Father, that this is what I saw in the night. I don't actually understand what it is. I thought I've prayed myself out of this thing. But I've seen myself in this thing again. Does it mean that you are not working? Does it mean that you are not willing to deliver me? Does it mean that you are not willing to save me? The Lord is telling you, I have saved you, but I need you to overcome. I have saved you, but I need you to master that situation because you are, you, and you are going to be a signpost to other people. Amen. We are waiting eagerly for the manifestation. Waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting. We are groaning. We are waiting. We are crying. We are expecting. We are hoping. Most especially, child of God, if you have lost your hope, if you get to the point where you lose your hope, then you are no longer a Christian. Yes. Because when you go through circumstances and then you begin to feel like, oh, I've lost everything. I have lost my hope. Then you are no longer a Christian. You are not. Because it is the hope that keeps you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Faith is just like hope. Faith is stronger, a little stronger than hope. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the creation is waiting. Do you wait on somebody? Do you wait on something that is impossible? That do you wait? This, can I can you tell can I tell you that wait for me at so so place? I will come. I might not tell you the time. I might tell you, just wait for me there. I will come. Because you know me, you will wait for me. The only thing you can do, you will start calling me. When, what time will you come? You? What time will you come? What time will you come? Where are you? What time are you coming? Because when, Why did you go there? Because you know me. Because you believe. Because you hope. Most especially. And you have faith that I will definitely be there. Mm -hmm. That is how it is. If you can obey a normal human being, if you can have faith, mm -hmm. if you can believe that this person it will do it. How can you not believe? How dare you not hope in the Lord? How dare you conclude in your wilderness that this is the end? How dare? The creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And then the Bible said in the book of Joshua, it said and then, it said that they should go and check the promised land. Do you ask yourself, is there actually a promised land for it? Oh, there is. Caleb went there. Joshua went there. Oh, they saw the promised land. They saw it. They harvested pomegranates from there. Mm. They got fruits from there. Okay. So look at, look at, look at how strong. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You will transcend this place and enter into the land. Amen. Where you will not have to toil and toil and toil. Where you will not have to cry and cry and cry. Where you will not have to wait and wait and wait. You will enter into the place. The Lord said to me, he said, it's out of the promise in the wilderness into the promised land. Into the place of fulfillment of prophecies. Into the place of acceptance. Into the place of answers. Into the place of yes! Yes, my father. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That I am going through does not mean that the Lord has concluded on me. Mm -hmm. That I don't have. That my life doesn't mean, means it's not sweet in any way. Does not mean that there's no sweetness in me. There's a depth in inside of me that is full of sweetness. Psalms 89 verse 19. As we take that scripture, we are going to stand up. And we will pray. We will pray. 89, 19. Psalm 89 mm -hmm. verse 19. Mm -hmm. I read. Mm -hmm. Then you spoke in Ephesian to your holy one. Psalm 17. No, 17. 
Yes, they spoke against God. They said, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Mm. They spoke against God. Because once you are in the wilderness, ah, it's impossible. But God provided manna. Mm. He provided even meat. They asked the question, can I actually come out of this wilderness and be anybody? Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Mm. Scripture said, if he did not spare his only begotten son, his only child, what is it that you are asking that he will hold? So a father that kills his only son for another, for some mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. for some wayward people, for some stiff-necked people, and then he asks himself, he said, what is it that God cannot give that we're asking for? What is it? Oh, you answer for yourself. If he can kill his son. Because nobody killed Jesus. Nobody is able. It's not the, the, the piercing and everything that they did to him. They couldn't kill him. It was 100% God, 100% man. They couldn't kill him. What then will he withhold? And what is impossible? Ah, Yagada broke us Katalaba. Holy Spirit said, and Jesus died for three days, but he rose again. He was in the wilderness for three days. They concluded on him. They laughed. Oh, he said you will be the devil, he's scattered the devil be in three days. They laugh. They laugh. They say, ah, oh, he raised the dead. He couldn't help himself. They laughed. They concluded. Then after three days. After three days. After three days, he came forth. After three days. Stand up. After three days, I don't know your own. If death is the final sentence, death is the final. When death comes, is the end. When death comes, is the final. Nothing. When somebody dies, uh -uh, there is only to bury and forget. No matter how you cry, you stop. Right? That is the final sentence. But when they laughed at Jesus, and then he came out of the grave, he said, Oh, death, when is thy sin? <laughs> They have concluded on your matter. They have laughed. They say it's rotting now. They say it's smelling now. They say nobody will come self. They say nothing. It can't work. Ah, from experience, we know. Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to lift up our voices and we are going to pray. 
pray and we are going to tell God that Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, bring me out of this continuous season of wilderness. Lord, bring me out. I have been here long enough. I have been here long enough. Father, this wilderness has been here forever. Lord, bring me out. Father, bring me out. Lord, take me out. Jehovah, let lift up your voice and talk to the Lord.
I am ready. I have grown enough. I am ready for Yagada Bro Sigada Gada Shagada. I am ready for the next level. I am ready to enter. I am ready to step up. I am ready. I am ready to see my family in the next dimension of blessing and favor. I am ready. Oh God, cause me to expire in this place of oh God. Deliver me, bring me out. I don't want to come here crying again. When twenty twenty this same prayer point, our oh, Father, I will drop this thing at this altar and I will leave it there because I know that you will answer in the name of Jesus. I want you to understand. The people asked him. He said, "Can God? Can God prepare a temple in the wilderness? Is is it, it, it possible with man? But God gave them manna." You are saying that thing, you are asking those questions because you don't know how God can answer. You need to pray. When they pray for water, when they command, the, the answer, the water was bitter. Was the water not sweet? The water became sweet for them to drink. That bitter situation can be sweetened. You are going to ask God. You are going to ask God. The Bible said Jesus was announced when he was ushered to the wilderness. Father, announce me what this time you are praying and you are asking God. That Lord, announce me back when David was sent to the wilderness. They said, Get out, go and take care of sheep. When he came out, there was an alarm that came with him. He killed Goliath. Mm. Lord, announce me again. Announce me again. Announce me. Announce me. Let me not come out of this wilderness unceremoniously. Announce me. Announce me. Just as you announce Jesus. Announce me again. Announce my husband. Announce my family. Announce the church. Announce us, oh God. Announce us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. My father, my father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just as you announce our Lord Jesus. After his baptism, I sent him to the wilderness. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Announce me as you bring me out of the wilderness. As you bring me out of the wilderness, announce me and launch me into 2021. Announce me, O oh God. Announce me, O oh God. Announce me, O oh God. As you launch me, O oh God, into 2021. Announce me, Father. Let the brother of the brother. 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 Let the brother of the brother.
dried up springs. They are like dried up springs. Like clouds blown along by a storm. Like clouds blown along by a storm. God has reserved a place for them in the desert, in the deepest darkness. In the desert and in the deepest darkness. Amen. Did you see that? Somebody read another another version. Uh, these people are as useless as dried up springs <laughs> or as mist blown away <laughs> by the wind. Ah. They are doomed for blackest darkness. Are you are you are you are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? You are going to pray. So some verses of scripture say they are, are like wells without water. Without water. Clouds that are carried with a tempest. <laughs> To whom the mix of darkness is reserved forever. forever. Man. How, how, how do you see? How do you see that? Walk, listen to me. Listen. You will not be well without water. You will not be stream that does not have water. You will not be the cloud that is carried away by tempest. You will not be the one that in 2021 you will be in darkness. You are praying three dimensions of prayer there. Fill me up again. What sends a man to a stream is water. It's quest for water, right? When clouds gather, it's for rain, right? He said they are swept away by tempest. Darkness is not a good thing because when you are in the dark, the Bible said, and darkness covered Egypt. That that he they that he said, thick. <laughs> you know, I said darkness is black. The darkness, you have you ever seen darkness that, that you it, it brings fear? Demonic darkness. That's the kind of darkness. Here I'm going to pray three dimensions of prayer. Lord, let me never be. Let me not be. And maybe you have been a stream in 2020 without water. That's why valuable people did not show up in your life. Because when they came, they didn't see water. What stream important of water, right? Well, important because of water, right? If they come to the well, there's no water. What do they come there for? Perhaps your water has been emptied by somebody. Perhaps your water has been dried up by drought because of a climatic condition. Perhaps there's thick darkness in your life because something had covered you. But the Bible said in Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7, it said, Upon this mountain, it said, Every covering cast shall be uplifted. We are going to pray. And as you are praying that prayer, you are going to link it to the last prayer point. I have asked you to pray like this. Lord, fill me up. Fill my wells with water. Fill my streets with water. Fill me up, oh God. Fill my clouds again. Let my clouds gather again. Let my clouds gather again. Oh God, bring light in every darkness in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you are praying like that, you are that's why when we are praying, we are opening the scripture. So that you pray with the scripture, you look at the scripture and continue to pray. Yes, Lord, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up. Wilderness is, is there in different categories. There's wilderness of poverty, wilderness of singlehood, wilderness of shame, wilderness of lack, wilderness of wilderness of sickness, all manner of wilderness. You are asking God, this wilderness that I am in, oh God, Father, today, in the name of Jesus, bring me out, bring me out, bring me out. Lift up your voice and begin to pray, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Let us be brought According to your word of God, in Second Peter's, Barakado Shakadada, in Second Peter chapter two of oh God, Lekada was seventeen. Lord, Bansakada Bragada, Lord, he said, These are people, Ragada Bagada, that are like wells without water, clouds that are pushed away by tempest, Matanda Bragada, people who are doomed in darkness, Barago Shakada, but Lord of God.